everybody. In this video, you're learning about how you can change the icon and the title of your React apps. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you about how you can create a React app and then we can continue. So I'm just going to create a React app by going into the correct directory. Um, uh, yes, um, do React um, CD, React Demos Yeah I'm not dying for some reason. I'll just click on React Demos. And now what I can do is I can create React app by doing NPX. So um NPX we can create a React app here by doing npx create React app. And just make sure you're in the correct directory. In my case, I am. So React demos and npx create React app. And now you have to give your app a name right here. So in my case, um, I'm going to go ahead and call the app um, React dash title, title um, dash and um, icon app okay, and hit enter. So what this is going to do is it's just going to create a React app inside of whatever directory you, you are in. Okay. So in my case, it's going to create it in this directory. Okay? This is where the React app is going to get created. Okay. Now we'll get this message. So installing that stuff, then um, the React app is actually being created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip a few seconds of the video until this creating the React app is actually complete. And when that's complete, okay, so make it there. Okay, guys, so right now, this is just finished setting up. So I know that because it gives us this little happy hacking message. And now it says that we suggest you to begin by typing, that you begin by typing CD, whatever you've called your app. So let's do that. So we're going to CD into that. And instead of doing npm start, we're just going to go ahead and open this up in a window of code in spiders where we were using the full version of VS code. Then you'll just have to do code. Okay. Now, Let's make that full screen, okay? And we have all of these files here, right? So now I can just go ahead and hit Control J, okay? Control J, and that should pop that up. Control J again, okay? Um, it was taking a while, and now I can just do npm start. So what this will do is it'll just spin up the app. On local code 2000 or essentially whatever port. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause the recording here and just wait for it to get done. Okay, so I'll meet you there. Okay, so right now what it's doing is it's just starting the development server. So we can just wait for that and then we can continue on. So as you can see, it just opened up a Chrome tab and um, it's just starting up the app, right? So you can see that um, starting up the development server over, okay, that's gone now. Um, so it just says compile successfully, right? And um, I guess I already have another app actually running on localhost 2000. Let's see, do I have anything running? Um, no, I don't have anything running. So let's just hit brief. Okay, yeah. So, um, I don't know something just happened already. Okay, so we can continue on. So now, um, if you get this spinning React logo over here and it's opened up on localhost 3000, then you're in the right place, okay? So that means you have successfully created your React app, which is nice, okay? So now the problem here is that, as you can see, this icon and the title 
For the icon, it's just like a React logo. And for the title, it's just React app. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you about how you can change that to a custom value. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you about how you can change the title that's right over here. So it says React app, right? I'm going to show you how you can change that. And you can change that by opening public and then going to index.html. So like that, you can just hide that. And right now, um, this, as you can see, this title tag, that's what's causing the title to be this React app, right? So what we want to do is we want to change this up and actually have like a custom value inside of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this React title um, and icon icon demo app like so and now when I hit save look at this magic react app boom react title and icon app, demo app so that's really really nice so right now we've just changed the title now we also need to change the icon right so this icon this icon right over here, uh, this one right over here, the blue React logo, that's actually coming from faveicon.ico, okay? That's actually coming from inside of here. So what we want to do is inside of faveicon.ico, as you can see, we have this um, blue React logo. So we want to set this to an other logo. So now, just, I mean, I already have a logo. So um, another logo just for this demo. So I'm just going to um, get that and then just paste it inside here, okay? Instead of fave icon .co. Okay, so I just got the icon that I need. Now I'll just open up my Explorer and actually show you the icon. So inside of my downloads folder, this is the icon, guys. So like the cool React logo, you know. So this is the icon. Okay, so you can get essentially any other icon that you want. But in this example, I um, decided that I can, I decided to use this React logo. Now what I can do, is inside of this VS code, instead of public, I can just go ahead and delete this faveicon.ico file. So, right click, hit delete, and then hit delete again. Okay, so that's nice. Now what we can do, we can go back to the downloads folder, and we can go ahead and copy the icon. So, I recommend that even you get an icon. Um, and then we can just go to where the project is stored, um, demo, right? And then come inside of public. Now we're just going to hit control V and we're going to rename this to fave icon. So just go ahead and rename that to fave icon.ico like that. And now we open up fave icon. Boom, we have this React logo right over here. Now, actually, um, we refresh the web page. Guys, like, take a look at this icon, okay? It's going to draw, um, like, um, a circle. Circle or whatever. Um, okay. So, uh, it is... Okay, that's fine. Now... When I hit refresh, guys, take a look at this icon, okay? Refresh, and boom. So that changed to the um, icon that we had. Okay. PowerPoints, I don't want to open PowerPoints. Uh, okay. So that icon changed, right? That's nice. So that's exactly what we want. So basically, um, that is it for this video, guys. So um, that was how you can actually change the icon and title of your applications, of your React applications, essentially. Okay, so 
show you about how you can change the icon and title where we are applications. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.